Today is April 8th, 2020, and I'm here today to talk with you about a vitally important exemption to the mandates in the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, the FFCRA. The FFCRA was passed by Congress on um, March 18th, 2020, and became law that day when President Trump signed it. It's a very important law for all small business owners to understand if they have employees because the law mandates two new kinds of paid leave benefit for your employees. I have another video on that and of course multiple blogs. Um, if you need more information, please see our website at dunlaplawplc.com. Now let's talk briefly about the exemption that some small business owners can um, receive from the mandates in this law. And this is really important because if you are um, a business with fewer than 50 employees, then providing paid leave benefits might be so burdensome on your company that it actually causes your company to, um, to, to be jeopardized. And uh, Congress recognized that this was a possibility when they created the FFCRA. And so within the FFCRA, there is an exemption if, and this is a interesting little phrase they used, but if providing the benefit would jeopardize the viability of your business as a going concern, then you could get an exemption through the Department of Labor. Now, at the time that the law was passed and when it went into effect on April 1st, pretty much nobody had any idea what that meant. I'm not even sure Congress knew what that meant. So we were waiting for regulations from the Department of Labor to tell us what that meant and then what the process might look for look like uh, to get that exemption. Fortunately, uh, DOL got to work pretty quickly and got the regulations out in just the past couple of days. And so I'm here to tell you about what the regulations provide for so that you can begin to plan for the possibility of an exemption from the mandates in the FFCRA. So of course, um, after hearing this video, if you've got questions on how to implement this, you need to consult with us or with your attorney. Um, this is just an overview. So to, to start with, there are three possible reasons under the regulations that would justify an exemption through the Department of Labor from the mandates of paid leave to your employees. Reason number one is if providing the benefits would create expenses and financial obligations that exceed available business revenue and could cause the small business to stop operating at a minimal capacity. That's reason number one. Reason number two is if the absence of the employee or the employees who have requested the leave would entail a substantial risk to the financial health or operations of the small business because the employee's specialized skills, knowledge of the business, or responsibilities are essential. And their absence would mean that the business uh, couldn't operate or uh, remain financially health healthy. That's the second reason. The third reason is a little bit longer, a little more complex, so hang with me here. The third reason is if the provision of leave to that employee would mean that you do not have sufficient workers who are able, willing, and qualified and available at the time and the place when you need them in order to perform labor and services that the employee who needs the leave normally performs and those labor and services and or services are essential for your small business to operate at minimum capacity. If, if that third reason applies, then you can also um, have the justification for the exemption from the FFCRA mandates. Now, you don't have to have all three of these. One of the three suffices according to the regulations and the regulations do not require you to file anything with the Department of Labor. The regulations very simply state that you should document the reason um, one of these three reasons, and you should provide evidence within your documentation as to why one of these three reasons applies to the employee who is requesting leave, and you've therefore denied leave. You save that documentation in a file in case there are any questions in the future. Now, this documentation has to also be accompanied um, by 
a certification from an authorized officer of the business. And that certification will state that the officer has determined uh, which of those three reasons applies. So that's how you can get an So that's a summary of the Department of Labor regulations on exemptions from the paid leave mandates for employees found in the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. I hope it's been helpful. And in the immortal words of John Prine, whom we lost yesterday to coronavirus, I wish you all the best. Thank you.